I know some of you guys are watching the replay wondering what's going on here. I'm just trying to set up. Um, I can't see chat for some reason. So, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Live chat. Hey, Linda, hi, Cheryl. Okay, I was not planning on doing a video or going live tonight, but I just made this um, card. It's my okay, so it's your birthday next week, so um, it's just so cool. I have to share it with Linda. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, I was not planning on doing a video or going live tonight, but I just made this um, card. It's my you guys. So um, you guys know I've been playing around with the alcohol lift ink. And today I went to uh, AC Moore and they have the three pack of alcohol inks. And so I grabbed a couple of more. I might be a little addicted to this, this whole method here. Um, hi, Audrey. So um, what I did is I put several colors of like teal, purple, pink um, down. And then I took the alcohol ink. Let me show you here. The alcohol ink blending pen. So when you get this pen, it comes dry, and there's two tips. There's this brush tip, which now it looks like I have like this purple color marker because I've been playing around with it. But anyway, um, and then it has this fine nib on the other side. And what you're supposed to do is see the brush tip has this metal clip on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Okay, so what you're supposed to do is take your tweezers, pull that metal clip off, put some blending solution in there, and now you have a blending solution marker. So um, while my alcohol ink was drying, and this is on Yupo paper, I took the marker and I was making these little polka dots on there. So I was just kind of messing around with it. And then, as you guys know, my other obsession is foiling. So I had that scrap piece of foil on my desk from the other day from Creative Vision Stamps. So right before the ink was completely dry, I put the foil on and lifted it. And you can see that the foil has stuck to the sticky puddled parts. Yes, D, I am on late. But I'm off tomorrow. So, you know, I was just having some fun. So... Not only do we have that cool alcohol background, we have some detail with the blender pen, but we also have foil on there. So I was like, all right, well, if I'm going to go overboard, let's just go ahead and get the lift ink out. So you can see here, I did the alcohol lift ink here, and there's also a smaller image over here, but I did the transfer, and they're so beautiful. Hi from Canada. That's awesome. Hi, Eileen. Look, it looks like it's watercolored. I'm just like, oh, I love it. So, oh, the stamp set that I used, I'll link it for you guys. It is Dragonfly Dreams from Stampin' Up. If you don't have a Stampin' Up rep, I'll li I will link my link on there and you guys can get that. But it's a photopolymer stamp and it also has, if you want, matching um, dyes. But my sister's huge into dragonflies so that's why I did it so I'm not gonna stop there I have another one here so I thought you guys would like to see me do it okay so that that was that one and then this one I did pinks and purple so you can see the alcohol ink is already down once again on Yupo paper and I did the foiling look at all that beautiful foiling in there I love this technique okay so now we're gonna do the the lift so I have I'm not going to mess with the blender pen on this one, so we're going to leave the blender pen out. All right, so I have my paper towel off to the side. I have my stamps over here on the side. And got my alcohol lift ink. Did you guys order this stuff yet? Scrapbook.com. Get on it. All right, so I'm going to do this more. Actually, I'm going to do it the other way. There's, there's two sets of wings in this stamp set. There is this one which is a more of a watercolor look and this one which is more detailed i think i'm gonna do just the watercolor look because it comes out prettier i like the detail but i think the detail looks better when it's framing it and you can take this and stamp it on top of that or you can make this its own little dragonfly and then there's a more solid body over here and then it has some 
bees and other decorations. But like I said, it's it's for my older sister's birthday. So here are my wings. And I, I'm using the pad underneath because it's a photopolymer stamp, so there's not a lot of give to it. Getting it nice and juicy. And now I'm just going to try to find a place that doesn't have too much foil because obviously the foil is not going to transfer. So the foil kind of blocks the image a little bit. So I'm going to try to find some place that doesn't have a whole lot of foil. Which is kind of impossible on this piece because it's so beautifully foiled. I almost think I should just die cut it. But then I, I would lose all this beautifulness. I'm going to be up all night deep playing with this alcohol lifting. And what I like about the photopolymer stamps is I can see all the way down and see where it's making contact before I lift it up. Okay, and I have my regular paper here. Oh my God, look at how pretty that is. I look like a watercoloring artist. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Tell me that is not cool. All right, let's do his little matching body here. So Leah was supposed to go to a friend's house down the street for a slumber party tonight. Now she's only five and she's only ever slept over at um, Nana's house and um, the babysitter's house. She's never stayed outside of people that, you know, she doesn't know. So I went over, you know, took her, her clothes over and her little sleeping bag and... Um, I was hanging out talking to the parents of the little girl she was staying with. And there was like three other girls there. And Leah kept popping over. And we were in the kitchen and she kept coming over. And she was like, hi, how's it going? What are you guys doing? You know, so I knew. I knew that kid was not going to make it uh, for the slumber party. So I was like 20 minutes later. I'm like, okay, it's time for me to go. When you know she comes running over and buries her head on me. And I'm like, do you want to go home? And she's like, yes. So she never made it to her first slumber party. All right, I saw a question pop up about the blender pen. Let me see here. Blending pen is the same. Uh, big blending pen. No, the blending pen from Stamping Up. Just so you guys know, this is the blending pen from Stampin' Up. And this is basically filled with like a glycerin ink. This blending pen is an alcohol ink blending pen. You buy it. It's dry when you buy it. And then you take blending solution. You take the cap off and you take off the thicker nib, which has a little metal ring around it so that you don't destroy your nib. You pull that little metal ring out, which pulls the whole nib out. You pour some of this blending solution in there. And then you let it sit for a few minutes until the ink is transferred into both nibs. So it's completely different. It's alcohol blending solution that you're putting in here. All right, let's do one more little body here, and then we'll do the reveal. But I just, look at, it's so cool. Yeah, I knew she wasn't going to make it. She's only five. And secretly, I didn't want my baby away from me. I don't want her to grow up. All right, let's see if we can get another. Did I clean this? I did. Okay. You guys can't really see, but look, I've already gunked up the sink pad. <laughs> let's do another one on this side here. It's tough with a solid image because the Yupo paper is very slippery, so the stamp kind of wants to slide around, so you have to be very careful to try not to slide it. Oh, man. I should have moved that one to that side. That's okay. We'll do it over here.
That's okay. All right, let's clean that off. Again, I'm just using my little chamois on the side here and cleaning it off. And then we have the little body. Start over here and lift it. I don't want to send this to my sister now. I want to keep it. Ta-da! All right, let's do the, let's put this ink away. Let's do the reveal on the, so we're gonna dab this up, the paper towel. And if you still see that there's stickiness from the ink, you're gonna keep dabbing that up. And because this is a solid image, um, it's going to take a little bit longer because there's a lot of ink on there. All right, and then once you have it up, you want to find a clean part of your paper towel and start rubbing that extra ink away until you have that magical reveal. So cool. Hi, Christopher. You're up late, too. I missed your video earlier. I was having you just missed my little sleepover crisis five-year-old story. <laughs> so we did this one first of all. This is the teal one. And there you can see the more detailed image lift and then the more watercolor look. And here are the prints. The prints are just gorgeous. Right? Christopher, you got to try this. You take alcohol ink on Yupo paper, and before it is um, fully dried, you stick the foil down, and you lift it, and you get these kind of like veining effects in the foil. I learned that from Kelly Latavola. I did not invent that. And then here is the pink and purple one, which we only use the watercolor type dragonfly there and you can still see that foiling there and then here's the transfer and that's only cut off because I only when I pulled it I pulled it off of this side of the card but don't they look like real watercolored dragonflies oh Christopher says same thing happens with our surface spray so you guys will have to pop on over to Brutus Monroe and I know right now he's got a sale on his surface inks. So you'll have to check that out when you're done here. Yeah, no heat needed. Because of this being Yupo paper, no heat needed. We just have to wait and it'll get sticky as it dries. So that's all. Now, which one do I send my sister? I don't want to send her any of them. I want to keep them all now. And instead of having one or two cards, I got four cards out of it. So I'll just like... I'll probably splatter some splatters on here and then just just put some uh, happy birthday on there for her. And then I'll have I'll have a whole set of birthday cards. I think this one's my favorite. Actually, I'm I'm kind of torn. Yes, this one's probably my favorite. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you what I was playing with there. Like I said, I wasn't really meaning to make a video or do anything today, but after I made that first one, I was like, oh, I got to share this. Everybody has to see how gorgeous this is. Right, Linda? I could just make like a whole, that's what I should do. I should make a whole set and send them to her. And then she'll have her own little thank you, thank you card. She's actually out near Chicago and she does um, outlet signs and, you know, where you do the paintings and things like that. So, um, and I, I think, I don't know what the name of her store is. It's Dragonfly something or other. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it's getting late, so I'll let you guys go. And um, I do have a video posted from my stamp release with Creative Vision Stamps with my lovely friend Laura. So on that card, I did some Distress Oxide ink blending.